Hey, what's up, everybody? So we are on the United States Mint 2022 product schedule yet again. And that is because we have some new information. The United States Mint just put this afternoon, put the next release in the American Women's Quarter Series up on their website, which is the Wilma Man Killer. They put the product limits on there for the PDNS rolls, the PND rolls, the 100 coin bags. So we have all that information on there that we can look at. Now, Shortly after the last release, which was the Dr. Sally ride, this is what we saw. They put the product limit on here for the PDNS at 7,504. What we did not know was, was that going to be the overall product limit or was that just going to be the product limit just for the enrollments? However, we don't have to speculate on that anymore because they have the information on here. So let's go over to the P, the D, and the S row first, and then we'll take a look at the rest of them. But the P, D, and S is the exact product limit that the Dr. Sally ride was at 7,620. What we do not know is if they actually sold all 7,504 of these for the enrollments. Now we do know that the enrollments was sold out. Does that mean that they sold all 7,000? 504 one would think so but again we really don't know if they did sell all of those through enrollments then that would mean on drop day on june the 14th they would only have 116 available pd and s rolls on drop day on june the 14th so if we look at the rest of them the p and the d roll is at 5,940, which again is the same as what the Dr. Sally ride was. And if we look at the, what the product limit was for the enrollments, it was 5,830, which means if they actually sold all 5,830 of them, then there would be a total of 110 available of the P and D rolls on drop day. And then we would have the 100 coin bags. Let's see what the product limit is on them. And it is the same as what the Dr. Sally ride was at 1,860. Now, if we look and see what the product limit was on the enrollment, it was 1,737. And again, if they sold all of those for enrollments, then that would make the total number on drop day would be 123 of the P and D bags. And that's kind of what I thought was the case when I saw all those numbers for the enrollment. They were going to limit the enrollments to these numbers. Now, I'm not 100% sure why they would make the product limit at that number and not just have the product limit of the enrollment for the entire thing but there's the information basically all the same product limits for the dr sally ride the question is now are you in the enrollment now, the other interesting thing is currently as of this very moment there's no household order limit now did they ever put a household order limit i know there was a household order limit of five is what the united states mint said later on via email but did they actually put that on the actual listing on the united states mint webpage let's take a look they did not i'm assuming we're going to have the same situation where there's going to be a limit of five if they don't change it i mean they could always change it and say hey we're going to change it to one or maybe they will not have a limit at all which is, which would be pretty surprising since they put a limit on the sally ride even though it does say household or limit and none i'm gonna assume that it's still gonna probably be five but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i appreciate everybody for watching like comment subscribe and i'll talk to everybody on my next video thanks everyone